Hey guys, third time I'm trying to make this haul video. First time I spilled my soda everywhere and second time I ran out of battery power. So let's hope third time's the charm. So on Etsy, I found these two little samples. Um, one is, this is Core and this is M. Graham. And for M. Graham, I actually got to choose the colors I wanted from almost their entire range. So if anybody knows how to, you know, take these little pill boxes apart so that the top can come off, please let me know in the comments below. Because otherwise you can, the way it works is you can only open one color at a time, which, you know, is fine too, but it's a little bit annoying. So I'd really like to be able to access them all at once. And, um... Yeah, there's enough, even though it's like a small sample, there's definitely enough in there to make multiple paintings. So it's kind of nice that way. And it all came packaged really cute. I forget the seller's name, but um, basically you can just look it up and she sells these and like maybe a couple other brands um, with samples as well. She sent a couple pieces of watercolor paper and they were packaged in these cute little things. And um, she sent a little card along with it and even wrote down all the colors that are in it. And then there was a little uh, sample of, um, oh, so the paper is Arches Cold Press. And then there was a little Daniel Smith sample, like of one color from the dot card. So that's those. And I'll show you oh, the colors that are on it. So remember, this is the core, and I did not get to pick these colors. That's just what came. There are 12 of them. And then these are the M. Graham, and these ones I did choose. So they're all pretty transparent. This one is supposed to be opaque, and so is this one. It's Naples Yellow and Cobalt Teal. Cobalt colors are known to be pretty opaque, and Naples Yellow is, you know, known to be opaque as well. So I really like these uh, colors. And I actually have a little booklet where I do paintings based on Lindsay the Frugal Crafters um, tutorial. And I do a little painting like this for all of the paints that I have. So this is M. Graham, just so I can compare. And this is Core. And I just followed the tutorial. It's a, like a 10 minute tutorial, which is why I chose it. And it also gives a good range of all the colors and then mixing together and you make a black out of the colors that you're using, which is um, a warm yellow, a cool red and ultramarine blue. And those, so these are the same colors for all of them. So like, for example, I have another video where I show all the other ones like uh, so you can just kind of compare. This is Prang, Windsor Newton Professional, Holbein, Shinhan. But anyways, you get the idea. That's Prima Confections. Uh, that those are Daniel Smith. So I did want to show you guys. Um, so this is M. Graham. They're really nice and vibrant, and they blend really well together. And then this is the core, and they're known to be really flowy. So look at that, look at that effect that I got. The color just like super flows all, like all over the page. So it's kind of neat. So I got those paints just to try them out, just for fun, like little cute little samples. And I actually might have to come back to that book because I got some more watercolors. These are not the only ones I got. So on eBay, I got this. So I was so excited. It was an auction, so it was a good deal. Um, hold on, let me... So this was actually brand new. This is, it was some kind of um, seller that sells basically thrift store type stuff. They're like a reseller. So I believe it was 85 and then it was 75 on some kind of sale or maybe it was 89. Um, and I don't know when this is from, it could be from a few years ago. But I, tr I opened all the tubes and all the colors are just fine. They're all liquid and 
and work great. So, and I definitely, and I got it for um, a lot less than that, including shipping. So I was very happy about that. So it's, you open it like this and you get this. You guys might remember that I had bought the Sennelier um, 18 half pan set, which I didn't like because the phthalo blue and the ultramarine were basically the same color. But I tried these out and they are different colors on this one. So that's good. Why is it not focusing? Oh, there. So these are the colors. And um, so that's the box. How cool is that? So cute. And it comes with masking fluid. Uh, this little cloth so you don't have to use paper towels all the time. A tiny little paper watercolor paper block of um, cold press 100 cellulose paper and it's four by six which is perfect. I'm about to go on like a little vacation and I think I'm gonna take this with me. Um, that's a great size for a vacation. It's very lightweight. I love it. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna take all this stuff out of the box and like it's really it's a really nice looking cute box and use it for something else and then when they were selling this online they the picture they had did not show these paint brushes but I found the set other places and it did come with the paint brushes so I was kind of thinking like well even without the paint brushes I was still getting a really good deal but it came with the paint brushes so I was super happy about that this is a red sable Raphael number no. four round brush And this is uh, Raphael number no. three brush. So um, I have one like this that's size four, I believe, or six maybe. It's a lot bigger. And I love these brushes. And I really wanted the brushes, so I was a little bit bummed thinking I wasn't getting one. So I was like, so with the brushes and with all the stuff and with the 11 colors that it comes with, it was, I was like, very happy I won that auction because you never know with eBay sometimes people like bid on stuff last minute and then you know you're just super disappointed so then I got um, a box from Blick recently so let me open that up and like I said, I'm going on a little vacation, so I was trying to um, prepare for. Sorry about all the stuff all over the place. I have like all these packages that I'm trying to. Uh, I was kind of gathering them up, you know, to do the video. So these are the three things that I got in it. These are Micron pens and they're all 02, which are great for, um, you know, obviously for watercolors because they're waterproof. And I wanted to do a number two because I have number threes and I have number ones. Number ones I find to be too thin and because the tip is so thin, it um, like stops working pretty quickly for whatever reason. And the number three is a little on the thick side so this is actually, let me try it out. So hopefully number two is like the perfect happy medium. And again, I shopped around. I looked even at Michael's with 50% off. The Dick Blick price was still better than the Michael's 50% off price. So just so you guys know. There you go. Okay. So let me try it. Oh yeah, that's, oh my gosh, yes. That's number two is definitely the perfect happy medium. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. It's just right. I love it. That's, yes, that's my favorite. Oh my God, <laughs> I had no idea. These paint brushes were so huge. I am, I don't even know what to say right now. This is number eight, number 12, and number 10 is Coda, and the number 10 is a travel brush. And this is Escoda 
and the collection is from this artist. They have these signature collections and again I was able to get I believe 15% off on on Blick. Um, so it was definitely a better deal than Amazon or anywhere else. These brushes are huge. I'm I don't even know. I'm used to only oil brushes being this big. I'm like used to like watercolor paint brushes being way smaller. Wow, this is like really really super nice. And I've seen reviews. People just love these brushes. So these are very high quality. Okay, this is definitely not what I was expecting for a travel brush. <laughs> this is humongous. Let me try to... Okay, there we go. So it comes out like this. And then I guess like that. Okay. So, I mean... Okay. Well, I guess with just this one... Like I said, since I'm going on vacation, I just wanted to have like a travel brush. I think this will be nice and big enough to be my one big travel brush that I bring. So actually I'm pretty happy to have this because it's difficult to bring big travel brushes along unless they are a travel brush and you can you have a secure way to protect the tip. And this one comes to a really nice fine point actually if you can see that. It's a really fine point. Hold on. Yeah. So all right. I mean, I wasn't expecting that, but you know, I'm not complaining about about it. I'm just really, really surprised. And I got some Sennelier watercolors. I got three. I got Indenthrin Blue, Turquoise Green, and Rose Matter Lake. So these are all very light fast and that's why I wanted this one for the pink one because they the set that I bought it had you know a vermilion red and then it had a bright red and the bright red's not very light fast and it's not very cool either so this is a nice cool red. And um, so now I have 14 Sennelier colors and my plan is to put them in not half pans but into full pans and 14 will fit into you know one tin box so um, that's what I want that's why I wanted to get three more colors so I could fill up a tin box with them oh my gosh let me put that away so then I got a book on Amazon it's dare to sketch by Felix Scheinberger I believe or something along those lines and he is actually you know super amazing artist um, I follow him on Instagram as well and I have his earlier book it was watercolor sketching or something along those lines and his style is pretty loose and laid back and just very kind of like stress-free and just uh, so I wanted to get his like other book as well. I wanted to have them both because the other book that I have by him is actually one of my absolute favorite art books of all time. And I have a lot of them, um, but the other one is one of my favorites. It's so inspirational and has really good ideas and I just love his stuff. So, um, and I actually read a lot of it too, not just looked at pictures, which usually I just look at the pictures, but I like what he has to say. So, um, I definitely highly recommend them. And if you guys want me to do a full review of both of the books, I can certainly do that. So, all right. Um, just really quick. I got some Sharpies. These are nice and waterproof. It's a the ultra fine ones, a count of 12 from Amazon. Um, on Amazon, they were about $6 for the entire box. So if you're gonna be getting Sharpies, Amazon's the way to go. Then I got these, this magnetic tape from Michaels to adhere to 
my half pans and full pans and um, sort of help them stay put in the metal tins that they come in. And also for Michael's I got this stuff to make the charms for um, for the Blythe dolls, for the strings, for the pull strings that they have in the back for the eye switches. So that was from Michael's. And then from Target for the Blythe dolls I also got some eyelashes. Now each one is enough to do a full doll because you cut it in half and half is about the size of uh, one eye that they have so it's this is enough for six full dolls and then also let me see for the Blythe dolls I got this on Amazon too it was about ten dollars and you can actually use your um, account like your medical account to purchase it and I don't know why but it does seem to be helping with the carving so let me see. I don't know if you guys can see. It was about $10, like I said, so it's a good deal and it provides wrist support. So for all the artists out there who are having any hand issues from either painting or sculpting or carving or whatever, um, this is not a bad way to go. I got these two since I really like them, Grim Paints. I'm not going to be opening these right now. I'm going to save them for later, maybe... Um, at some point a little bit later down the road maybe for my birthday or some other holiday or whatever uh, I got the desert southwest and the five color beginner sort of watercolor set from M Graham These are on sale on Amazon right now for less than $20 each for five colors So that's four dollars per a 15 uh, milliliter or whatever but I can't even open it it doesn't want to come out up there yeah for a 15 milliliter tube like I said so that's actually a really good deal because usually these tubes are about ten dollars or end up so four dollars for each is definitely the way to go I'm thinking I might actually get one of those big tins and have the top two rows be Sennelier and the bottom two rows be M. Graham. I would only need like four more colors to make the two bottom rows Sennelier, I mean M. Graham, um, because they're both very, very honey based. So they might actually work really well together and that way I don't have to get, you know, basic colors for, for both of them um, since I can kind of, you know, use them all together what else also um, our local Barnes & Noble is moving so they put a bunch of their stuff on 50% off clearance so I decided to get a few things uh, so this is a pencil it has the eraser up top and so it's a pencil and then you get purple ink pen purple ink pen eraser and like a little eraser So, yeah, and then I got the 0.5 pencils because I have 0.3 and I have 0.7, but I don't have too many 0.5s. And 50% off was very tempting. And then I have Moleskin. Um, th these were also all 50% off. So I got these. Um, these are actually if you cut these like what I do sometimes is I cut like about this much off and then they're the perfect fit for a Midori Traveler's notebook. They fit in perfectly so um, and I like the dot grid so I figured I'd, I'd get some and then I also decided to get these as well. I don't know the studio series they had some watercolors and other things in the studio series so I think it must be like a Barnes & Noble brand or something um, yeah so they had these three watercolor brushes and they were a pretty good deal as well so that's what I got from Barnes & Noble and 
And oh, you know what? Actually, for Sennelier, I did do a watercolor painting as well. So let me show you that one. It came out super pale. Uh, one thing was I didn't use as much paint because I didn't squeeze out enough. But also, Sennelier usually tends to come out pale. And it really starts to shine when you kind of layer the colors on top of each other. So that was probably part of it too. So that's White Nights that I recently did, but I never showed this painting. Um, but I did swatch the White Nights recently. That's Schmincke. Daniel Smith. I think I already showed that one. And Prima. And for some of them, I've been doing paintings on the other side, but I'm not going to go through all that right now. Shinhan. Holbein, Windsor Newton Professional, Prang. So, anyways, you get the idea. I think the little paintings just kind of help to compare it, and having the tutorial makes it easier to make sure I do the same thing for each one. So, I think that's it in terms of all the random places I shopped at. And, um,. I'm out of time, but I actually have a, call, a haul from Jackson's Art Supplies, so I'm going to film a separate video for that and upload it soon as well because I did have a haul at Jackson's, but now I'm running out of time, so it's not going to fit into this video. So uh, definitely check back soon. Um, and that will be available as well. Thanks for watching. If you guys want me to review any of these uh, supplies or paints or whatnot just let me know and like I said if anybody knows how to take this apart like I, I can't get this thing out I don't know if it's supposed to come out or not or maybe they don't come apart and if they don't just let me know that too <laughs> so I can stop trying um, yeah so thanks for watching and I will be back soon thanks bye